Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we've got John 3:17. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. So, yeah. Merry Christmas. It is the Wednesday after Christmas. And, uh, yeah. So, I did... I didn't get a whole lot of things worked on, um, but I did get some things done. Let's put it that way. So, uh, one of the things I was working on is this. I didn't get, but maybe two more rows done. I still have to figure out how I'm going to connect it. I have it in my mind. I just, yeah, I don't know. This is at some point going to be a pullover type sweater vest. Um, this one, I did end up frogging it and starting over, and I really like the sleeves. I like the way they worked up. I like the little bit of gray in them, and we're going to go from there. I'm just going to, I've started this, and I got this much. I tried different stitches and different things, and I'm really not, this is not as tight as I want it either. I, I kind of want it tighter. Um, I'm thinking I may have to go down to a smaller hook. I don't know, but I wasn't happy with this, the way it's working up either. I've tried Tunisian, I've tried, and I don't want to just do it single crochet. So yeah, I, I'm thinking I might have to go down to a smaller hook, even though the sleeves are bigger because it's done with two strands and then have that loose. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm not liking the way it's working up with that yarn. Maybe I'll make something different with that yarn. I don't know. Um, and then I met one of my goals. So one of my things was I wanted to have the last of that two pounds spun. And I do. You are looking at, sorry for the counseling. You are looking at, dun, dun, dun. There are 2,765 yards of double ply yarn, two ply yarn. So that means I did double that and then plied it back on itself. So yeah, I uh, was being funny and decided I was going to figure out just how much um, I had spun and I had plied in terms that other people can understand because I was actually told that when I was spinning it was working up pretty fast oh yeah that goes real fast it's not yarn you know I was just spinning the singles and yeah uh, it was just too funny because I didn't stop to think you know what I mean about how other people perceive it I'm looking for something that I looked at. Da, 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 da. Here it is. Okay. So I spent 2,765 yards of two ply yarn from two pounds of roving. To put that into perspective, I spent 5,530 yards of singles which is over 46 football fields long end to end. Then I plied it back on itself for half that length. So that yarn will go uh, 23 football fields end to end. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> I think that's the most I've ever made out of um, two pounds, but I wanted more of a fingering weight. And not a worsted weight, so yeah. Anyway, I got that one done. There is nothing on the wheel. I have not started the new one that I got. I am thinking that I'm going to actually clean out some of my fleeces and maybe process some of them. I don't know. All right. Other than that, um, that's really all I've been working on. We didn't do anything super special this week except for Christmas with the kids. Um, I make Christmas cookies and my goal for Christmas was to 
get them to enjoy the day. Just relax and be like they were kids. So I got this really great deal on some toys. Um, which as adults, they're awesome toys. Okay. That's all I can say. Uh, but anyway, I made a matching pajamas, as you know, um, RJ's is the only one I misjudged and I've got to fix. I've got to put a spacer in his bottom. Um, everybody else is fit. Uh, then I got them some games and one of RJ's was Jenga and things that they can use to make memories. And that's what I told them. I said, make memories because in the end, that's really all we're going to have is our memories. So, um, I got toys. We recreated roommate just looked at me and said, I said, I wanted to recreate that feeling of when they were a kid. And he goes, so complete chaos. And I said, yeah, we recreated complete chaos. So, but, um, I did get a couple of gifts that, I mean, I have a few others that I'm really proud of, but a couple I wanted to share with you. So first I had asked for a new sewing box. Um, I found this one online. I don't have everything in it and there's a reason why, but it does have, um, a couple of compartments. It's got, what is this here? It's got this top one that has two containers and then it's got little things there. And then of course it's got this second container that has these up here. And then the bottom has some dividers and it's open. I don't have it done yet. I don't have everything where I want it, if that makes sense. So, um, and then there is another me because I do have some stuff in here because I'm still figuring out where things are going to go. Okay. So, um, that's just kind of, and it's got double zippers too. So I'm trying to zip these back up here. And then it also has a couple of side pockets here that don't zip. Okay. And then, and as you can tell, it's still like scrunched from like being in the package. And then I have this front one that's got this and then two pockets here. So yeah, it will get there. Um, and the reason I haven't figured out what all I want is because, um, I found that one online and said, oh, you know what? You guys just get me this right here. And so while, and then I sent him a picture of a screenshot and, um, uh, that's what I did with the kids is they'd send me the picture of a screenshot. I decided what I wanted to get and then I got what was on the screenshot. So, um, they took it a step further and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. They got me this. So this ugh, is three layers deep. They said it said it was for, um, what do you call it? Sewing, but each piece comes apart. Let me move this back up. Each piece comes apart. Um, this one has small things, but the one thing that I like about this, and I'm going to set these two down, there are two of these things that have little cups. Instead of just being the divider things, so, and, and this is why I think they make it sewing, instead of being just dividers, they have little cups in them. So I could actually take all these little cups out and this one's a different thickness here so i have little size cups in here I'm trying to show, and they or i can remove the cups and use the top to put stuff in now only two of these sections 
do that. Okay. The smallest one has the cuts. And I'm putting like my pins and stuff like that. Um, the other one that has the cuts that come out is the deepest one. And it has deeper, bigger cups on all of them. And so like this right here, I have my clips in. I have my button maker. This part I haven't figured out um, because if you remember, I have about three more like plastic bins that I uh, probably need to see if we'll fit in here and, and downsize some. Now this one does not have the removable plastic bins, um, but it has a different size. And while they aren't removable, the sections, this is set, okay, this bottom part. The top part, these right here are actually adjustable. You can take out a divider this way. You can make it all four. These dividers come out, then these dividers come out. So you can make big spaces. So I literally could open one of these up and uh, use it for my scissors if I wanted to. Um, yeah, so I just messed up. There it goes. But all of these are adjustable. You can either take them out, make them long uh, kind of thing or not. But, and these right here, I do think go sideways so I can make them, you know, anyway. Um, I like it. I don't have it situated. And the one thing that is kind of different about it is when you stack it, you slide the little things over and they lock together. So all three pieces can be locked together. Um, and I asked him, I was like, so what is this originally for? Is this for nails or is this for, you know, tool? Uh, what on earth is, and they said they found it in the sewing section. So yeah, I like it. And it's one of those things that I was going to make do with the other one and just get some of my other one. My big sewing box was, um, outdated. It's from the seventies. Uh, it had no handle, had some cracks in it. I'm going to pass it on to Tori, let her use it. It's still usable. It just not the prettiest. And it's that clear see-through like brown plastic from the seventies. So yeah, it's old. Um, so I got those and I am looking to organize my sewing stuff. Sorry. It's, um, and so I think that they're perfect. Uh, I also got a charm and then because I said I wanted, I was recreating that I was looking to recreate, um, Christmas as a child for them. My daughter jumped in on the phone and she said, Oh mom, I got you something. So she got me this and it does this and his little legs move. And when he comes up, he just looks too real. So I'm going to put candy on the top and then I'm going to put down in the bottom. My pet spider's name is candy. Uh, so it's candy, my pet spider. Yeah. I hate spiders. Just so y'all know, I absolutely hate spiders. Um, yeah, they thought it was funny. Uh, I threw the box at her. I was like, <laughs> and I gave it back to her. So. But anyway, I love that thing. I know it sounds silly, but um, I think the kids had a blast. We played with the games that I got. They were those little electronic road rage. Tori and or, uh, RJ and Macy had a blast with road rage. Um, RJ and Brad just, could, I mean, Tori and Brad just couldn't get past the whole robot chunky 
they gave up, but they said they're going to keep trying. Um, yeah, it was good. Uh, the fire pit for roommate. I was told we got all winter to figure out where we're going to put this. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it went over good and we'll get it outside and get it all set up. And yeah, so, um, it was a good Christmas. It was about making memories. We ate breakfast foods in the middle of the evening because we wanted to recreate that morning feeling. And we always got up and had pancakes and bacon. And, you know, so I made pancakes, French toast, biscuits and gravy, bacon, sausage, eggs, the whole nine yards. And everybody had a good breakfast. And then we went to see what Santa did. Um, we did the um, stockings. and uh, the candy trade, um, I have noticed now that they're older, they're not so interested in trading the candy. Um, they like what they like and they're like, eh, all this is good. Good by me. <laughs> so there was not as much trading as I thought there would be. Um, but we opened it up and you had your pile that you could keep. And then your pile, there were some things that in each stocking that were not tradable. Um, roommate had some Bavarian pecans. Those were not tradable. Um, Macy had some chocolate bombs that were not, um, tradable. It's some things that were just personal to them. Then I got a bunch of junk that they could trade. So each stocking had items that were off limits. And then if one wanted to trade their candy canes because they didn't like this kind or that kind or whatever um they could and we found naughty and nice tic tacs the naughty ones were black cherry the nice ones were mint um i don't know we had a bunch of stuff in there just a bunch of little stuff the lifesaver books that i found were in there no one traded those they were like mm -mm, nope we all have ours no <laughs> and so yeah but it was a fun time and once we did that, then we went to Christmas presents. Mm. Um, the comforters went over great. I actually had, got a picture that night um, from RJ. Let's see if I can find it because you guys, he went home. I'd gotten him flannel sheets to go with them. And he uh definitely took it to heart because I'm not very good with this phone today I can't find what I'm looking for it's my problem um I got here we go this picture later that evening and he had put the quilt on his bed he had the pillow shams everything and he literally used it that night because it was supposed to be super cold and it was and without central heat and air you know that it's cold so um i asked him the next morning if it kept him warm and he said yeah he said it worked great the flannel sheets the comforter they were good i said that's good so um yeah they were proud of their uh comforters tori said she's gonna work on hers in the next day or so she said it's going to be a little bit they have to work i have to work um roommate had tuesday off macy had tuesday off rj it was pouring down rain so he couldn't do anything um so yeah i had to work so we didn't get a four-day weekend but i got a three-day weekend and i'm working on getting to the fourth day you know i get another three-day weekend this weekend so for new year's um and I picked up some games for roommate and I, so maybe we can sit and play games on New Year's. I don't know. It's about making memories, and I don't know. We just need to do more of that. So, all right. That's where I'm at. I did frog the one. Got the spinning done. I think I know what I'm going to make with the spinning, but I have to wait. I haven't decided if I'm going to dye the yarn or dye as a piece i think i'm gonna dye it as a piece but i've got to find 
the perfect pattern for what's in my head, if that makes sense, or figure it out on paper. So, yeah, I'm going to keep going. Um, these two are the only two carryovers um, for the new year. And I did... So they had a sale. I know I'm trying to get off here because I got to go to work here in a little bit, but I got to tell you this. So I have decided that I am going to go to making some of those little toys that everybody makes. Um, and I'm going to give them away, but I did put in an order yesterday for, uh, I'm probably going to say it wrong. Hershizer's. Um, I'm not sure. It's like H E R R Hershner's Hershner's. I have to see it to be able to say it. But anyway, um, I, uh, put in an order with them and I don't know how to get my downloadable patterns. So uh, I don't know. I don't know. So, but anyway, they have a big sale going on and I did get some kits and a little book and I am going to make some little animals and I've got, I think I got four or five of them. Uh, I don't know. Um, I'll have to figure out how to get to my order because I don't know. I didn't get an email. I didn't get, I don't know if it's because I did it late and they do those manually. Don't know if the, they're not, you know what I mean? I don't know. So, uh, oh, look, your Hershner's order has been updated. And there's my tracking. Oh, and there's little links to download the little files. Okay, so I got a couple of little patterns. I don't know if you can see them. I got a snail, puppy dog, a chicken, and what was the other one? Oh, a snowman that are those little plush toys. And I think I'm going to make those and start giving them away around the bank just for fun. I'll have a tote of them. <laughs> and I understand they use up little scraps. Okay. Cause they're, I think the tallest ones were five inches. So yeah, but I'll show you that when it comes in. All right, you guys. I probably will not podcast. I, okay. I know I'm not going to podcast till the new year. So I hope that this year has been better and that next year is even more amazing. Um, for everyone that watches, I pray that God has his hand in everything you do and just makes it all better than it was last year. We can't have a uh, an, an amazing year with no uh, bad because the world doesn't work that way. But my honest prayer for you is that you have a next year, have more good, more good memories, more good life, more good health than you have bad. So uh, I, that's my prayer for everyone is that you have more good mojo, whatever you believe in, more good karma, good mojo, uh, blessings. I want your next year to have more good memories and more good stories than there are bad in it. Um, like I said, can't have a perfect life with no ups and downs. That's not life. Okay. So I pray that each of you has more good than bad in the next year to come. Okay. So I will see you guys in the next year. Have a safe and amazing holiday. Love you guys. Bye. And thanks for watching.